Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael with IDB. Apple just released iOS 16 developer beta 2. This is a pretty big update with a lot of changes. So in this video, we're going to go over everything that's new. So the first change is on the lock screen with the now playing UI. So first up, the UI itself is now a little bit taller. And also the artwork on the left hand side is a lot bigger and easier to see now. Next up, when you are editing all of your lock screens, there is a completely new way to delete certain lock screens that you don't want. So before in beta one, all you'd have to do is press and hold on the lock screen, but that was a bit confusing. Now it's a lot easier. All you have to do is swipe up and there is a new delete button right there. We also have new filter options for wallpapers in beta two. So before in beta one, we would only have natural and black and white, but added here in beta two is this new one called Duotone. And we also have color wash. So two new filters for wallpapers. Uh, these look pretty cool in my opinion. And another very small change here in beta two, when you're editing your wallpaper, there now is a little prompt here in white text at the bottom telling you that you can pinch and crop to edit your wallpaper. We also do have some updates to the astronomy wallpaper and the weather wallpaper. So first up is these two are now available on older iPhones. So the iPhone 10s, 10s Max and 10R now get access to the astronomy wallpaper and the weather wallpaper as well. Another small tweak on the astronomy wallpaper is it now shows your location. So when I unlock my phone, it's a little bit small, but you may be able to see there is a green dot right there showing my location on earth. And you'll also notice new in beta two is with this astronomy wallpaper, Apple has updated the resolution. So you can now see a lot more earth detail. And also for this moon one, you can see a lot more texture on the surface of the moon. And another update that I really appreciate in beta two is widgets on the lock screen are now a lot more legible. So as you can see there, the weather widget, you can now see when it's on the black background of the astronomy wallpaper in beta one, it kind of blended in and was harder to see. So this is an update I really appreciate in beta two. And we also do have a bunch of changes inside of wallpaper settings in beta two. So when we click on it here, you can see the UI has been updated. First of all, at the top, it now says current as in this is your current setup. We do have two new customized buttons underneath each wallpaper. And if you click on the customize button, you have two new options now. So you can customize the current wallpaper. So if I click that, I'm able to edit the astronomy wallpaper. You can see we have a slightly new UI for this as well. And then we can also completely add a new wallpaper if we want as well. So we can just hit add new wallpaper and then we can have separate wallpapers for our lock screen and our home screen. This is something we couldn't have before in beta one. And another new change in beta two that I wasn't able to get working on my device for some reason is when you're setting a new wallpaper on the lock screen, you're now going to get this prompt after you click on done that asks if you want to set this as a wallpaper pair, or if you want to customize your home screen wallpaper. So again, a bit more options if you want to have separate wallpapers on your lock screen and your home screen. Also new in iOS 16 beta two, a highly requested feature is you can now back up to iCloud using cellular. So this is useful if you have unlimited data and you want to make sure all your data gets backed up. All you have to do is jump into iCloud backup settings and turn on backup over cellular with this new toggle right here. We also have a completely new option when taking a screenshot. So if I take a screenshot here on my iPhone and then tap on it, when I click on done, we have a completely new option here to save to a quick note. So if I click on this, you can see it opens up the notes and it lets me add text alongside this photo if I want to. And then another change in beta two, this one I really like. If you edit an iMessage and the person you sent it to is not on iOS 16, your device is now going to resend that message. So if I send an iMessage right here and then I click on edit, you can see I'm able to change what the message says. So I'll change this to hello. So if the person I sent this message to was on iOS 15, they're going to receive that first message that said hi, and then a second message that said hello. However, if the person is on iOS 16, they're only going to see that little badge under the message that says edited. Another small tweak I really like in beta two is it seems like Apple has updated the haptic feedback on the keyboard. So Apple added the option to have haptics on your keyboard in beta one. However, when I updated my phone to beta two and started typing, I felt like the haptic feedback felt a lot more refined. And then another little small change is inside of weather. So the app now tells you that you can tap into each section to see more detail. So iOS 16 added a lot more functionality in the weather app. And now there is a little prompt here when you first open it that tells you you can expand the details. And also updated in beta two is the update page for watchOS 9 now shows the watchOS 9 logo. So a very small update, but there has been a little icon change inside of the watch application. 
So that is iOS 16 beta 2. Overall, it is a pretty big update. As I use this day to day, I'm hoping that a lot of the bugs I encountered previously in beta 1 are going to be fixed in this as well. And also, hopefully, we are getting close to a public beta, as usually the first public beta is matched up with developer beta 2. So hopefully, we are getting close to an iOS 16 public beta as well. But that's going to do it for me in this video. Make sure to drop a like on it if you found it informative and helpful. My name is Michael with IDB and I'll see you in the next video.